thank you for watching. Uh, this is the first video of our brand new How to Lead Worship video series uh, entitled Introduction. Uh, about a year and a half back, we wrote a, we uploaded a video to YouTube called How to Lead Worship, a Great Worship Leader. Uh, in this video, we, we did a, a brief uh, introduction to a worship leading book that we were working on called Unfinished. We were working on getting this book published for, for, for worship leaders in the church uh, as a go-to guide, a resource for them. However, uh, our video received uh, a great welcome and even now has over 3,200 views, um, which really speaks of the need for, how to lead, how, for tips on how to lead worship, um, which inspired us to stop to cancel the publication of our book, and instead we're going to be uploading each our each part of the book into YouTube videos. Um, and in these videos, we're going to talk about the same things that we would in the book, but instead of having to pay for the book, you can watch them free here on YouTube. Uh, our the articles will, however, be posted onto our blog, and I encourage you to read those uh, because they often. Excuse me. They are often worded either differently, or they have more or less to them, to where it could somehow speak to you in a different way. Um, we'll talk about a series of different things, including burnout, uh, the grace of God, faithfulness, how to pick out uh, sets in, in for your worship uh, set, uh, how to uh, conduct a, uh, a, a good uh, band practice, how to be a good uh, band mate in the worship band, how to be an effective uh, aid to the worship leader, uh, how to lead uh, the worship team in a respectful way, and other topics um, like. We also um, have on our channel some videos talking about uh, different different uh, hard issues. Uh, for instance, uh, we just uploaded a video called uh, actually a two-part video called uh, Christians and Alcohol. And in this video we talk about uh, if Christians can drink and also if they should drink. Um, and I encourage you to check that out. Uh, we will be posting more videos on difficult topics uh, like that uh, in times to come. We also have a two-part video up about um, the biblical language, the need for you know the original manuscripts, and also uh, an introduction to hermeneutics and why it's important. In that video, in that two-part video, we don't really talk about Greek or Hebrew, and we really don't talk about hermeneutics. We're just answering questions as to why they are important, and a general introduction to them. Um, so I wanted to start the, start off this video series with letting you get to know me. Uh, my name is Michael Bohr. Uh, I'm married to Gracie. She's amazing. She's beautiful. She is. Uh, an encouragement to my ministry, and uh, she helps me to uh, find focus and clarity uh, as I'm going through. Uh, she's really been a blessing to me. Um, first, let me tell you a little bit about some of my past. Um, I served as a worship leader in an Assemblies of God church uh, uh, in New Mexico. Uh, for a number of years, both in the I co-led in the uh, adult service as well as uh, um, leading in the youth service. Um, I did some specialty youth services including at uh, Calvary Church, um, a very good uh, church denomination, uh, as well as with some other special youth services. Um, National Day of Prayer I did the worship for uh, in Moriarty, New Mexico. Um, I have led at Royal Ranger camps, uh, youth camps and conventions, uh, as I previously mentioned, special youth services, uh, adult services, uh, interim work where me and my dad would go to different churches that uh, uh, didn't have a pastor at the time or the pastor was out of town, um, uh, uh, college uh, prayer meetings and other meetings, uh, fine arts, uh, some of God fine arts if you're uh, a fan of that. I placed uh, Thank It in the Nation with guitar solo. Um, I went to nationals for both uh, vocal, male vocal, and um, uh, songwriting. 
Um, and then I also played for the Assembly of God just for uh, an Assembly of God District Council. Uh, we also have, on our channel have some uh, videos of some of our songs. Uh, at the end, we have a walkthrough. If there's any uh, important news, we include them in those videos. Uh, and check into our channel, and, and I'm sure you'll find uh, find what you're looking for. Uh, we title them this way: WNM number whatever the video number is, and then the name of the video. Um, I apologize for the background noise. Uh, we have a lot of uh, bikers in this area that really like to rev their engines, as you can hear. Um, obviously, if you're watching this video, you can find our YouTube channel by clicking the uh, World Movement above there. On the, if you're looking at the screen, it's on the left-hand upper side. Um, we have a blog. Uh, you can find it by either the link below or you can go to World Movement Ministries, no caps, no spaces, at uh, dot blogspot.com. Um, on there we have uh, the chords and charts and lyrics for all of our songs, uh, articles from our book and for uh, some other things, uh, including uh, uh, World Movement's uh, bylaws and stuff like that. Uh, uh, any, any news or anything important that's going on, we'll post something on there. Uh, right now, all that we have on there really are songs and, and an introduction to the log. So uh, stay tuned as we put up more there. Uh, I enjoy listening to music like uh, your typical Christian music. Uh, Michael W. Smith and Chris Tomlin are my two favorites. Uh, I don't really listen to a lot of non-Christian music. Uh, it's not that I don't believe that Christian should you can listen to not Christian music. I think that it's important what the theme of the music is, uh, whether it instills uh, good positive things or whether it instills you know uh, sinful things. Uh, for instance, if you listen to a song that's talking about having sex with a girl, um, that's not really appropriate for a Christian to listen to. However, if you're listening to a non Christian song that has to do with um, you know, saving, uh, saving, uh, saving a child's life, uh, you know, something like that, uh, not doing drugs, you know, there's a lot of songs I can think of not done by Christians that are talking about the need to stop doing drugs, uh, you know, just different things like that. The, the theme of the song is, is good morally, so I believe if the song is morally good, you can listen to it. Um, I'm getting a little bit off topic, though. I just don't want you guys to think that I'm coming off wrong. Um, let me tell you a little bit about World Movement. Uh, World Movement Ministries is a nonprofit organization that me and my brother started. Um, it, it, it helps uh, people who are in ministry to get on their feet, uh, gives them direction. Obviously, this video series is especially for uh, youth leader. I mean, uh, worship leaders, uh, worship pastors, worship teams. Uh, really the worship group. Uh, and in the future we might have more videos to do with other areas of ministry, but for right now this is our focus, um, as we've had a high demand for it. Um, uh, in the next video we're going to be talking about burnout. Uh, it'll probably be a, a two to three part video series, video section uh, in the video series talking about burnout. Uh, that's really all I have to say for this one. Just wanted to kind of give you an introduction to this video series, kind of let you know uh, who I am, where I'm coming from. Um, I am Assemblies of God, uh, but nothing that I say on these videos reflects the opinions of the Assemblies of God. It is my own personal uh, opinion, and I take full responsibility for that. Um, uh, I am currently in a worship team. And it actually looks like uh, some doors might be opening to further that ministry uh, in my hometown church. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. Uh, stay tuned. There will be more videos up soon uh, about how to lead worship. Uh, if you want, you can check out uh, the original How to Lead Worship video. Uh, we renamed it How to Lead Worship, uh, an introductory overview. Uh, you can find that on our channel, uh, under our videos, uploaded video section. Um, 
But yeah, uh, God bless, and I really hope that uh, this video has uh, alerted you to what we're working on. Uh, and I hope that as you watch our videos, you are encouraged to excel in your ministry and uh, help. You're given enough resources. Um, well, hey, until next time, you guys uh, uh, take it easy and uh, uh, keep on on the way.